Hello, this is the fourth and final video about the Ether management platform. In this video, we'll discuss user creation, role assignment, and how to configure and perform tasks on our protected endpoints. Let's take a look at users and roles. It is clear that medium-sized and large partners and customers require granular permissions, as well as being able to see who did what and when in the management console. For that reason, the Roles section contains two predefined roles, full control and monitoring, but it also allows organizations to create their own roles. For example, we can create roles that only allow users to launch installations or edit settings, etc. Plus, in the Roles screen, we can define which computers will be visible to each user, as not all security administrators should be able to access all computers in the organization. Let's create a sample role. Once we create a role, we can assign it to any new user we create or to existing users. In the Activity tab, we can see who's accessed the console and when, as well as the actions taken by each user. Tasks and Actions Tasks in our Ether-based products are independent from settings. That is, they can be launched without having to change the settings. We can launch computer scans on demand or create scheduled scans with advanced options such as maximum runtime or delayed execution for offline computers. The scheduled tasks will show full details of previous runs for each computer. Additionally, and just like settings, Tasks are launched in real time. That is, urgent tasks can be launched across the entire organization in seconds. The platform also provides resources that ease management tasks. We can report problems on workstations and servers directly to Pandas support department with information and log files collected from the systems. Also, we can remotely restart our managed computers if required to update their protection or if they are not working properly. Contact us for further information about Panda Adaptive Defense.